Alien Gem's got a brand new map for all platforms. New and updated mods are here! Finally, we got 21 mods in total to take a look at today. For all platforms, we got 13 new and 3 updates. And for PC and Mac players, we got 1 new and 4 updates. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new around here. That way, you never miss any. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, and Alien Gem has done it again with a brand new map for everybody, the Western Wilds. This is a survival map, or a creative map, however you really want to do it. Do you have what it takes to design your own fields, create areas to raise livestock, and build your own production chains? No neighbors to stop your advancement or bog you down with contracts for field work. It's just you and the wilderness. You have the ability to remove all the trees, rocks, power lines, and a water stream from the map to help aid in your discovery of your inner farmer and designer as well. There's 20 golden nuggets spread around the map to find, and for those of uh, you that want to do that, well, you can get a little bit extra money as well. They do say go to, go to the gold hut to see the clues for where to look for the nuggets. The map includes two sawmills, a limestone production plant, and a BGA. Also, a gold production plant to aid in washing stones for gold and then smelting them down to gold bullion. Uh, he has also added plow state to landscape ground painting textures. To say please note that using this option to create fields will lose the ability to produce stones in those fields. Might be good, might be bad. You can also find two trailers for transporting methane under miscellaneous category. He says he hopes you enjoy this survival mode roleplay kind of map. And this is neat. This is a brand new map for Farm Sim 22. They've never released this before. And to be honest with you, a lot of the areas around here, there's like, I don't know, four or five areas around the map. And then most of the rest of it's just kind of spread open. Let's take a look at the PDA real quick so you can see that. So we start off with field number three up here. This is splopped up into squares, just like No Man's Land is. So if you're familiar with that, well, you will like this as well. Everything's kind of spread out in a uh, X pattern or cross pattern rather. So you've got things over here on the left. For example, we've got the electric charging station, train yard, and the gold hut. Down here at the bottom of the map, you've got your gas station, another gas station, water fill point, and the sawmill for the south. We even have the house area right there. Now, these are fire lookout towers, kind of uh, similar to uh, like SnowRunner. You got a couple of those spread out around the map, three at least that I've been able to find. Is there another one right over here? There may be another one right here as well. Nope, that is an actual house. And then over here on the right hand side of the map, lime production, gold production, another electric charging station, biomethane, biogas, and your water fill. And lastly, on the north end of the map, of course, you've got your house. And this is where all like the main stuff is. You've got your animal dealer, you got your vehicle workshop, another fuel point, farmer's market, and then lots of filling and selling points. So there you go. That's kind of it right there. As far as guys on consoles, this is going to take up 969 slots, but you can... Uh, Probably make that go down a little bit without having to use new farmer mode. Speaking of new farmer mode, what do you get? Well, we've got a Star tractor. That is your only tractor. We have a combine harvester, but there's no fields on the map, so you got to create those yourself. We do have a forklift. You got your lizard pickup, the old one. We got the crampy trailer, nice combine header, small plow, so you may want to get a different one. Cultivators. We've got a cedar fertilizer spreader, which is nice to have. A nice weight and a belt system and well that's that's it huh that is it you do start over here you can go outside the area which is kind of nice but not too far otherwise that's that's it <laughs> this is the western wilds from alien gym next we have the lizard next the 44 202 it is back we have this farming simulator 19 for sure for all platforms maybe 17 as well but i think it was a ural then and pc only well here it's for everybody so let's take a look at it 312 horsepower manual transmission we got 480 liters of fuel 49 miles per hour and it weighs 8.3 tons for console players not too bad 
14 slots here. Engine setups, you got your 312 horsepower engine. We also have a 600 horsepower engine, which is labeled as the cheat that adds an extra five grand as far as wheel setups we do have a few different ones they're very similar to each other but you can really get down and customize it the way you like as far as main colors we do have a custom color palette here there's some older colors in here it's nothing too wild and crazy you choose whatever you like and you're good to go and well, that's it. It is a semi truck at the end of the day. And if the past is anything to go off of, we should be seeing some other versions of this truck going forward. Next up, we've got the Man TGX Forest Special. Now this bad boy right here, uh, this is the fifth version kind of, of this truck that we've gotten. And it's the fourth that this modder has created. Very interesting, a little different from the other ones, but uh, not, completely if if i'm honest not completely different regardless uh this is going to be 500 uh 500 horsepower 490 liters of fuel 49 miles an hour 19.1 tons you got a three slot requirement on this it is very low in slots i don't know how they've done it but well they've done it continental we also have lizard tires and we have Nuckian tires. You can change those up. Winstree and Guard. Let me guess. This is all the standard stuff that we would expect to see. And it is everything. If you're used to the main trucks, well, it's literally got it all. So that's cool. Wind fractor. Yep. Roof bar. Yep. Sunshield material. Yep. It's really just a copy and paste from all the other trucks. Uh, we have 500, 640, and 880 horsepower options. Extra mirrors. Cabin color. There you go. I'll just change it to this blue. Ooh, it is laggy. That's very interesting. We've also got the uh, stacking cover right there. Uh, this is going to be the crane color. We'll change this to something it's not. Yellow it is. Claw color, red. Red works. And then rim colors are rim colors. We do have chrome. That is nice to see. Uh, this is kind of interesting because you take the crane and you pick up the trailer, usually, and take it off. So it's kind of a neat little thing. It's got the hook on there for it and everything. Uh, it's here if you like it. Uh, also, this is as far as I can zoom in for whatever reason. Next is a roller, the Lizard Roller 2.5. This weighs about half a ton. We've got a 31 horsepower requirement on it, 2.5 meters and nine miles per hour. This is gonna be two slots if you guys are on consoles. They do say with the roller, you can improve the upper soil level quality of your field. So there you go, it is a roller. Attachers go yes or no. This is nice. We've got one model that adds the bar or not. It's not two different models. I love how they have done this. This is cool because you get a couple of these and really start to <laughs> have an interesting setup behind you. That's pretty cool. As far as your main colors, old old main colors there and then i think the roller as well yes you can change up that roller as well i will say this is from puzzcap they do a lot of really good stuff this is nice i like this if you want to wait and you want a voucher one we have a voucher weight now the voucher slice weight this is going to weigh 320 kilograms. However, you can add a little bit of extra weight. It goes up to 640. Trailer attacher, yes or no in the front. And then we have main colors of gray and black and then design color, which is gonna change up the frame for it. This works like any other weight. It just looks a little bit differently when you take it off. And that's really cool. Next is the Flegel Transport Box. This box right here is mostly used to transport small things like small bales or pieces of wood. We've got quite a few different customization options we can add with this. We have the extension of yes or no. This does weigh 300 kilograms and is two slots on consoles. The weight set, so you can uh, add that yes or no, but I'm not seeing that it's doing anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So there you go. Uh, attacher type, you can either do a tractor triangle, which I don't think we've got the pack for that yet. We've also got a three point or no attacher whatsoever. You probably want an attacher, so just go with the three point. Your main color, we could change that around. It's gonna be the grading and then design color. I assume this is going to be the frame around it and I am mistaken. What color does this change stuff? Orange? Green? Huh. Oh, the weight set the balls. That goes on the three point. There you go. 
yeah, I mean, it's just kind of a transport box at the end of the day. You just throw stuff in there and be good with it. You can unfold the front, but it looks like that's about the only thing that it does. We got a snowplow, the 2.20M snowplow from PET. Uh, this is a very small snowplow, 2.2 meters wide, 3 miles per hour, uh, adjustable skid skid plate yes or no apologize got the hiccups I switched over from g fuel to coffee and it gives me hiccups in the morning and then we've got a uh, fast couple triangle which is really just a three point and then we've got back to standard again so very cool you cannot change a color it is orange through and through next new one for all platforms is the homemade liquid tank this is from tom sky and it is to transport liquids you could transport all four of your primary liquids so that's going to be milk water liquid fertilizer and herbicide uh, this is a herbicide tank but you could transport any of those liquids in it and you're good to go great for survival things like that it's pretty cheap it only costs thousand dollars holds a thousand liters uh weighs 592 kilograms and we could change up the main color here is, here's your color for that let's just change green it's going to be your frame at the bottom and then of course rim colors are rim colors we do not have any chrome or anything like that but I don't think you'd expect something like this to be that flashy. Making our way into some placeable mods for all platforms from Yos, we have we have the mobile wood cell point. Yes, we have it. <laughs> They say, take this mobile wood cell point uh, or sawmill with you to your next trip into the forest. Uh, the selling station accepts logs, wood chips, and wood bales. The mobile sawmill will reset to its original location when loaded into the game. They do say credits to Schultz Modding for the portable model idea. Yeah. How cool is that? How cool is that? So again, uh, this will reset kind of to its original place. So I... Placed it down over here, so when I come back into the game, it will be there, but uh, you can pick it up and move it. I don't have, so toggle super strength. Here, look at this, look at this. I just want, I just want to prove this to you. Toggle super strength. Now it's on, now it's off. And I can still pick this up. I can chunk it pretty good as well. Yay! <laughs> it, oh, it just keeps rolling, huh? Yes! It's like it weighs nothing. That's great. All right, so let's put this thing back down. So this is nice. Uh, well, actually, for Alien Gems new map, if you're going to be doing a lot of logging, throw this on the back of a tractor or trailer or something like that, or the new transport platform. Hey, throw it in there. And then just take it into the woods with you. Now you have a mobile cell point that you could just throw stuff in. This is going to change the way you do logging, I promise. And if you need a silo to go along with that, well, the rustic silo from BK Mods is here and it is ready for you as well. This is neat. All right, so I said that I thought this would be pretty cool for doing role play, maybe survival. Well, and then Alien Gems map came out today. I didn't even see that. This is really, really cool. BK's also one of our, um, He's also one of our Discord members, so big shout out to BK Farms over there. This is nice. It holds all things, including grass, straw, hay, and silage. You can use this with your animals. Holds 500,000 liters, so it's not a lot, but it's still plenty. And it's only 10 grand. Are you serious? It's just go to buildings, go into silos. It's going to be right here. You can place down multiples of them if you want to. But it's really cool. It does have lights at night that are automatic, so they do their thing. And then you've also got a shed a shed you could park a shed here next to your silo that's cool and if you need somewhere to store your fuel well you've got the farm fuel storage large courtyard tank depot gas station for farms and contractors with a large fleet this is gonna well it's a little expensive forty six thousand dollars uh fill types are diesel only and it has a capacity of half a million liters just like the silo you can buy that and it will cost you 687 grand just to, gosh just to get that man oh man uh, nonetheless uh, this is not for small farms this is for big farms making a lot of money it's actually kind of realistic to real life as well. This is nice. If maybe that's a little bit too much for you and you just need a pump, well, <laughs> we got one of those as well, the gas pump. Uh, they say it's a placeable gasoline pump in the old style. Price is 1500 bucks. Maintenance is $10 per day. Refilling is not necessary, unlike the silo that we just showed you. And the display illuminates at night. That is really cool. Let's take a look at this and see what we get. So it looks like there's no words on there, no kind of 
label to tell you how much the fuel was. I always like looking at these to see how much fuel was whatever, uh, whatever they make these mods. But nonetheless, hey, this is here. That's cool. And your last new one for all platforms today is going to be the fertilizer production. Now, you guys may remember the seed production that Zodal Zoct released a week or two ago, something like that. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the description that he used for that. So if you go look at that, it'll have the same description as this will. But this is the actual fertilizer production mod. We've got four different ones. They're not going to be found in mods, but they will be found in productions. They are right here. You have the fertilizer production for digestate. So that's nice. You've got, uh, what is that? Solid fertilizer in digestate? No, digestate in, solid fertilizer out. Manure in, solid fertilizer out. S liquid manure, slurry. And s seeds, I think. Or like solid, right? You know what? Let's just take a look because I'm a bit of an idiot. Let's go in here and take a look at it. So you've got liquid fertilizer right there. Uh -huh, that's what it is. Nice, okay, cool. So there you go, that's your fertilizer uh, fertilizer production. Really not a whole lot to it. Um, one thing, 1,000 liters digest eight in, 250 liters of solid fertilizer out. Um, Manure is a little better. It's a one to 0.5 or two to one ratio. Two to one ratio as well for slurry. Uh, and then you have a one to one for water and uh, for liquid fertilizer. That may be your go-to right there. There was one mod that was added right at the end, right as a student. <laughs> As soon as I started to edit the video, of course. This is the Stone Shovel. Uh, this is from Maxter, and it uh, will hold 425 uh, liters. However, you can go with a larger one up to 550, 650, and back down. If you don't want to use a rock picker and you just want to, like, put this down in the middle of the field and go for it, well, you can. This weighs 365 kilograms or less, depending on what you go with. 1.4, 2 meter, and 2.4 meter working with. And you can change up the main color to quite literally anything. So that is very, very nice. This is going to be two slots on consoles, and it will also pick up sugar beets and potatoes as well as stone. So that is cool. This does work with front loaders, so heads up there. All right, let's make our way into some mod updates for all platforms. We've got three of them. The first is the Frankenmuth farming map. This is very 1.5? That was the first update. Uh, water added to ditches. They've also got viable land adjusted to open up more forestry areas. Contracts for the train going to Goldcrest Valley have been removed. And Goldcrest Valley has been renamed to Birch Run Township. Very good idea there. You've also got lighting in the placeable sheds adjusted. They've also adjusted and added the AI splines for better navigation using the AI. Custom crop calendar has been added. Corn can be harvested in December. Sugar beets can still harvest in September. Snow mask has been removed moved to where the buildings have been placed down. The crop price has been adjusted for the train selling point to make it more rewarding. And a custom soil map has been added for precision farming. And the most important part about this update, new save is not required for the update. Old game saves will work just fine with the updated map. So just continue to use your game however you liked. That's really cool. We also have an update to the Cal Barn 30 by 18. This is going to be change log version 1.001. Console support has been added, so we'll take a look at it. We've also got visual improvements, improvements of optimization, improvements of optimization, okay. Uh, collisions have been adjusted at the walls and the fence will prevent spilled material from falling behind the walls and adjusted the glass by the window. So let's jump down to the ground and take a look at it. So we looked at this, uh, I believe a couple weeks ago, whenever it was first released for PC and Mac players. However, it is out now for console players as well. So that is very cool. Of course, there's things where you can open it up and close and you can turn on lights and open doors and turn on and off slurry and turn on and off all of the bits. It's actually really, really neat. And you've got some cool customization that you can do with this. However, I will uh, iterate that there's... Oh, I can't click on it. I can't click on it. Uh, anyway, this will hold 40 cows, so it doesn't hold a bunch, but it's not a really big place, and somewhere like this that holds 40, not too bad. And your last one for console players, I say console, all platforms, is the ESC Large Shed. Uh, this is going to be update version 1.1. Fix a collision, which there was a problem with, and new sheds. Okay. So what they've done is they've kind of taken what was there already, and they've added this kind of like 
brick design to it, which is kind of neat. It is fully enclosed, and you can go and open it up, and the doors are normal doors. They are not all weird and wacky and crazy, and you have to know, you know, martial arts and be a Jedi to open them. You just open the doors. That's it. So neat. All right, making our way into PC and Mac only mods. The first one is the Caban RD1600E. This is going to be used for forestry, uh, and it is just kind of picking up logs and pushing stuff around. That's about it. Uh, this is for front loaders. The grill has a better view of vision when you've got it opened up. A reinforced frame, doesn't really matter in farm sim. Profile plate for holding wood. Yes, it will add double hydraulics for better stability and strength. Again, in the game, it doesn't matter, but... It is nice to see that. Making our way into mod updates for PC and Mac players. First one is the Tip Side HUD version 1.002. Change the Registrar Specialization Lua to Adopt FS22 version 1.4.0.1. They've also increased the description version. Your next update for PC and Mac players is the BMFR2 Crapple Bucket. This bad boy right here is going to be version 1.0.1. They've improved the textures and improved the 3D edit. We also have an update to the BRT Shovel. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Improved the textures and the mod description version. And your last update for PC players and your last mod today is going to be the Universal Auto Load version 1.2.1. They've updated it to work with version 141 well guys that is it for today's new mod video hope you enjoyed it. if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new join the go ham fan make sure your notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel these early mods today very very cool i got to start recording this video at like 6 15 this morning that was awesome uh if you guys want stay tuned i will be posting links to other videos throughout the day in the first pinned comment so check that if you guys made it all the way to the end of the videos that'll show you all the other vids from today. Otherwise, hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.